Do you think that that kind of like changed the game? Like from the south, they was doing independent grind for a long time. Yeah, and we was you know getting record deals and shit like that. So now in reverse, you know, for us to finally learn the game and take it to the next level, do you think that has somewhat to do with south kind of taking over? You know, with the music and stuff like that. I don't think it's so much of the south taking over with the music. I think it, it's so much the internet got so much bigger. Like the South was doing it because the South always support their own. Mm-hmm. It's, it's more, we, we us in up, up top here, we went away from community. Right. Everybody is, yo, I'm doing me, I'm getting mines, I don't care, boom, boom. The South is always supporting it. You go to the South, you go downtown to the South, I mean, go down South and you go in a club, mm-hmm. the DJ is playing somebody you never heard. Right. That's his man from next door. He making you like the record. Right. The right. DJ's here. You can have a relationship, be cool with them, they love you. Still. And they like, yo, I can't really play it. You got to make the song hot. How? I'm going to make the song hot. <laughs> yeah. You the DJ. Yeah. What, what I'm supposed to do? Where yeah. I'm going to go DJ it myself? How am I supposed to make this? If you telling me the song is hot and you like it, why would you not push it with the same thrust right. that you go down south and hear an a, a artist you never heard of? Right, right. You hear somebody play it and you bring it to bring our it back. clubs. We don't know none of these artists. You don't know them, but you make and us like them. And they playing it crazy, yeah. like, oh, this is coming here soon. Exactly. Soon, yeah. You're gonna check it soon. <laughs> yeah. And you, you go. Know, but, this, but this is the mentality that we have. We so, they, like, we we become followers. We don't dictate the music no more. No more so right, this right. is why Kendrick Lamar can say he the king of New York. Mm. This is why Weezy can say, I hate New York, and I don't tell Licky Lodge, you don't got to do something, Jim, because they don't respect. You don't break mm-hmm. records. Yeah. Y'all follow. It's, this is not the mecca of, they, they fan base don't come from here no more. You, The artists, the, the DJs here don't have no power. Mm. With the exception of Funk Master Flex, right. nobody else here breaks a record ever. They just follow where everybody else and goes. That's it. So at the end of the day, they don't have to respect y'all. Right, right. They can tell you whatever you want. They don't have to respect us. But y'all don't give us no power. We Now, you don't give us a power. Kendrick and Margaret say what he want. And then if me or somebody else from Papoos or somebody say something, like these niggas ain't selling no records. Who cares what they said? Yeah. Y'all took our power. We can't say nothing. We better artists than them, but we can't say. Can't we say don't yeah. have the power because it just look like we haters on the sideline. Right. Because y'all got records that from us that y'all say is dope, but don't want to play them. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? But this is this is where we live at. And then they try to figure out, oh, yo, what y'all going to do? What we going to do? We not going to do nothing. The rest of the artists that y'all support from New York is dudes that's that's in bed with the down south dude. So they definitely ain't gonna say nothing. Mm. Yeah. They ain't gonna never say nothing. We cool, they doing politically correct. Yo, right. I ain't really gonna say nothing. I'm a, I'm a hint about it here and there. I might do an interview and say, nah, you know, I know what he's mean. It's no personal, but you say that about somebody in LA or down south. You can't come to the clubs, you're not right. getting off the air. None of that, nothing. none of that shit. None of that. Yeah. There's no more pride in where we from. 